If this is about Roland, go away. What? Um. Sorry, he was mean. He acts like he wished we weren't here. Like he wished he hadn't saved us. But he did save you. Uh, that's what matters. And now we're just trying to save him from drinking himself stupid. I get it. You were trying to look after him. Yeah. He did save us after all. Anyway, it's his loss. Uh, he be losing his mind and his lunch. Uh, what do you mean his loss? I found this book. Old, dusty, full of strange lettering. Pretty sure it's magic. Gail! I was gonna give it to Roland so he could learn new spells, you know? Beats drinking till he forgets the ones he knows. I guess you can probably keep it for yourself. Hmm. Maybe. Anyway, I'm sick of talking. You can go now. Bye-bye. Well, maybe that was dumb. Give me the book. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I should. Let me see if I let me see if I can try. Hey? You forget something? You mentioned you had a magic book. The one for Roland? What about it? Oh. Let's see, do you really want to give it to him after how he's acted? I mean, I wouldn't mind taking it and giving it to him, but maybe I should just take it. Let's see. Ooh! -ha! That, was, that was a lucky one on guidance. Guess you can have it then. I don't care. It would have been a nice gesture. Maybe it would have snapped him out anyway, of it. Anyway, I'm sick of talking. You can but also, now. he's drunk and angry, bye bye. and maybe he shouldn't be given the way of the wanderer. Yeah, I'm intrigued. Wait, what does it say? This book is redolent with enticing smell of paper and ink. How to convey that which I know deep within myself to be true, would that I could bring each of you reading these words into this head of mine, this heart of mine, a feeling as one, perhaps then I could speak what words fail to describe. That home isn't home unless you're far from home, that love isn't love unless it unleashes you, that the sky is infinitely big as long as you can always see it. Do I make sense? I think not. Perhaps the parapatic patter of these words can create some rhythm approximating the joy of feet on row with naught but everything ahead. I mean, I feel that. This is, why, this is why I live the wandering life that I currently live, you know? It's rough sometimes, but... Truly, what is love if that if it leashes you, right? Love isn't love unless it lets you be free. Home isn't home unless you're wandering. I feel that. Um, however... It didn't. Do I have didn't have any sort of spell that I know of. It's necrotic resistant, but radiant vulnerable? Maybe because radiance is kind of fire-like. Oh, hey! It's the bard that I didn't meet last time! She survived! Cool, let's talk to her. Oh, you're alright. Thank goodness. I was worried they got you too. How about you? How are you holding up? Honestly, terribly. I still can't believe it. The cultists. The screams. Roland, of all people, saved us. He said he stayed in the grove because of you. Oh! I'm damn glad of Maybe it. I did do good. Without him. Well, none of us would be Really? Here. Is it that... Is it that... Like, I wonder if that's actually the case, right? If I hadn't convinced them to stay. Maybe there's like the gain, like the loss and gain, right? Where like his siblings are, were taken, but now we've saved a bunch of people. I know Roland isn't happy with me. Can you blame him? His brother and sister are gone. He's dealing with it as best he can. We all are. How do you do it? How do you keep going? Because I'm programmed to do so. Ah. My drow options are always bad. Um, really, that's all you can do. It's, it sounds cheesy, right? But you just gotta take it one step at a time. You make it sound so easy. 
but I'll try. You've done so much for us already. So many updates. But I have to ask. The others might still be out there. If they're not dead, they're in Moonrise. And God have mercy on anyone in that hell's pit. I'll find them. Thank you. If anyone can manage it, you can. Just be careful up there. All right? I can't handle anyone else dying. I only met her at the party. Oh! A smile better suit. Well, see, and I was trying to be nice, so that I'm glad that worked out. I'm trying to be like nobody needs to hear me being all grumpy like about it, you know. Thought you'd be ten yards tall the way Zevlor spoke. Where is Zevlor also? Scout. Seems we missed one another at the grove, but the others told me how you helped us. A pity. You pulled them from one death trap only for me to land them in this one. I was gonna say, I don't recognize her, but she's a tiefling. If, if my glare on my screen is not leading me astray. Uh, I don't see Zevlar. Don't tell me he's missing as well. Aye, and more than half the others with him. We were ambushed out in the cursed lands. Cultists of this absolute. Zevlor froze, begged us to surrender. But they were toying with us. Making examples. And we'd had enough of taking it. Those of us who cut free just kept running till we found this place. The others... Maybe the cult got them. Maybe the curse. Her eyes are mesmerizing. Ooh, Oathbreaker. Your life is your own. You owe these people nothing. You are right to run. No. Uh... What are you doing out here to begin with? You were bound for Baldur's Gate. This army of the Absolute is growing and flowing towards Moonrise. There's worse than goblins on the roads now. I thought we might pass unnoticed along the fringes of this place, escape the owlbear by hiding in its shadow, so to speak. You can see exactly how well that went. Don't lose hope. The others might still be alive. Zevlor had hope. It didn't save him. It gets... A little sense will serve us better. It I gets think. a little cheesy after but, a while. Thanks. It was sweet of you to try. It's like you can cure depression just purely by being happy and having a good attitude and taking a walk every day. And like, sure, these things help, right? Hope helps. It's kind of a thing. Being positive helps the si certain situations. But, you know, there's only so much that can do <laughs> in the face of overwhelming odds. Um, let's talk. Ooh, don't wanna, I don't want to talk to Jahira just yet. I feel like that. Oh, can I not go up the stairs? Nope. Okay. That was weird. Jahira, I need to buy uh, stuff. I need to buy food stuffs. War drum, hand drum, loot. Have a gander at the finest stock. Who's selling stuff? Oh, the kids are talking about stuff. Take it easy while you can. We'll keep the watch. I love your makeup and your face. Oh my gosh, there's nothing here. All right, well, time to talk to Jahira then, I guess. There's probably other people around. I will make sure to get that done, but it feels weird to just walk into here and like not talk to Jahira at all. Please, be welcome. Have a drink. The children shouldn't be serving. They're underage. Oh my God. Yeah. Do your very good health. I get bonus points with Carlac for this. Uh, no, I'm just, I'm not going to be rude. You have to pardon my friend Carlac. She's very excited to meet you. See, this is me. Look at me being, uh, being good. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, 
It's an honor, milady. Ah. I will gladly drink to your health as well. Go She's on. so cute. That's what I did <laughs> when I met, like, <laughs> this is going to be Timothy Zahn, who wrote Thrawn. I was an absolute mess when I met him, and I, it was so, I was so, I was so dumb. I cringe thinking about it, but also, like, I did manage to salvage it in the end, but I was definitely like, <laughs> to your health. Blah. If you poison me, I will be very upset. Well over a century old, and yet it hasn't lost a hint of flavor. Still not quite so sure about you, though. I still have flavor. People tend to lose more than just flavor when illithids get their hands on them. I speak from experience. As an air about you, something alien. That's racist. Me to <laughs> the parasite is changing you. Listen, Isn't I it? actually haven't even taken in it. I haven't taken in another worm. I've decided that my paladin's not going to do that. We like utilize my. I've utilized my powers like three times. I think like in the beginning, you know, like with like the the absolute stuff. Um, I don't know, and like I don't mind using the uh, illithid powers on occasion, but I'm not shoving extra worms in my skull. Uh, it's trying to change me to win me over, but I'm resisting its temptations. And you're certain you will continue to resist? I hope so. Yes. Good. I will take your word for it. And hold you to it, too. I have every reason to be cautious. I've traced people like you. People with parasites in parasites. their brains. All the way here from Baldur's Gate. Baldur's Gate. The cult of the Absolute is spreading through the city. Wow. Quietly, quickly, and with unsettling deliberation. We tracked them to this ancient village, only to be faced with a man we killed and buried over a century ago. Well, is it the guy? Is it the one guy? Uh, who was, is he? Yes! Yes, yes, yes. Storm. Remember that man. <gasps> He's the leader of the Absolute. Really? He was a Sharan once. Took to building an army of dark justiciers beneath this very village. Yeah, I found it all. Alongside the local druids, we made it our business to see him deposed, dead and buried. Yeah, Halson's with me. But he's returned. Not only does General Catherick Thorne live again, it seems he is no longer mortal. He has become, in fact, invincible. Halson's not going to be happy. We met him on the road here, commanding an army of the Absolute intent on destroying Baldur's Gate. I put an arrow through his eye myself, only to watch him pluck it out like a splinter. He healed right in front of me and chased us into the shadows. Things looked hopeless, but experience has taught me that no matter how bleak things look, there's always hope. You are that hope. May, uh, oh, I, uh, at the beginning of this conversation, you didn't trust me, and now I'm, I'm the hope from the end of the Star Wars movies that that, what was it, the second one, the second sequel one? They're like, hope. And then they burned everything on fire. <laughs> uh, you, uh, you think I could kill him? Not immediately. Yeah, it sounds like a final boss. Protected by your artifact. You can oh. infiltrate his forces at Moonrise Towers, posing as a true soul. He sounds like an Act 2 boss. Find out what it is that makes him invincible, so we can strip him of his advantage. Or maybe a full big boss. Once Catherick is without his shield, the sword, together we assault his tower and put a final end to this blight. Uh, what was it? What was I thinking? Oh, Will's happy about that. I'm surprised Shadowheart didn't say anything. Uh, he used to be a Sharon, I guess. Uh, what was I thinking? Oh, so there's like three leaders of the absolutist army, right? There's two boys and a girl. Um, may, he must be one of them. Interesting, I did kind of think that I'd have to interact with them at the end of each act, but like, I don't know, apparently we're saving up. We're in act two now, so maybe I'll have to fight or deal with two of them in act three, and one of them in act two. Fascinating. Uh... You want to make use of my infection, I want to be cured of it. Any cure starts with understanding the disease. Whatever magic Catherick's using to control these Oh, he's holes, doing it. It must be at You're, you're assuming he's doing it. 
How do I reach him? The towers are surrounded by shadows. You're not our only secret weapon. Uh, good. Th what? Isabel. What? A faithful cleric. Oh no. And the light in the dark. I'm covering. I'm covering Shadowheart's she ears. the moon shield around the inn. It's the only reason we're still. Oh, alive. convenient. She's upstairs in her chambers. What? Tell her I sent you, and she'll see you through the shadows. I just safely. was up there. Shh. Don't say saloon in front of Shadowheart. I'm cover her ears. Hello. You have anything to say about that? Shah's blessings upon you. Yeah. Uh, what do you think of it? Oh, ex okay. We get Catherine Thorne. Difficult to say. A fellow servant of the Night Singer would surely be an ally to me under most circumstances. But something doesn't add up. I'll need to see where his allegiance oh, no. is true. It now. definitely sounds like he's with somebody else now. You know what I mean? If he's an absolutist guy. Then, uh, then he's, uh, he's not a Char guy anymore. Don't be shy. Have a gander at the finest stuff. Uh, maybe, I guess I just assumed that this went to the outside. Uh, does not look like that. Looks like it actually, if I had to look, maybe... T this is where the glare, the glare is, like, up here above this line I'm drawing. So it's hard to see, but apparently there is darkness here. Um, I do need to maybe sell some things. Mattis. Welcome to our humble. Wait, are you Carla? I'm not. A lot of us were in Avernus. We saw you fighting. You were so good. What? Well, I. Uh... She wasn't with me before. Yeah, I guess I was. I mean, you should avoid fighting for devils if you can. But if you can't, it helps to have a good right hook. I saw you lay out a more demon in two hits. Bam, bam. We were all like, whoa. Wait, wait. Ever heard of the Blade of Frontiers, kid? Oh my gosh. Monster smashing. <laughs> you might be a fan of his work. Who's that? Yeah. A lovely chap. <laughs> Don't kick ass in the blood war, but that's neither here nor I there. I love this. That's true. But he never got kidnapped by a devil either. No, he just got put uh, into a. Huh? He got put into a pact with a devil. <laughs> Sorry, kid. Look, forget about us big grudges and bruises. From the look of things, you've got your wits about you. A clever mind and a bit of style will take you a long way. Fight with those, and you may find you never need to use your fists at Carl all. Carlac is so wise. In that case, want to buy a lucky ring? I found? don't do it. Ah, nice try, Shorty. Keep it up, though, and you'll be scamming with the greats in no Carlac time. Carlac was a city kid. Kid really looks up to you. That's nice to see. It is, isn't it? <sighs> Hope he makes it out of this mess with his wits. That was so monkeys. cute. I'd like to see him set up in a proper home in the city. Every kid deserves that. Oh, and Carlac's whole thing that she said. Check it out. Why? Oh. We've gone legitimate, and Mole put me in charge. What do you need? Oh, okay. Dang. Okay. Uh, I must not have had Carlac last time I talked to Mattis. That's weird. I usually have Carlac with me all the time. Um, unless this is only supposed to trigger now and not in Act One. Um, but Carlac's whole thing, like you know, the hardest thing about getting older is watching, you know younger people make the same decisions you made and knowing that you can't change their mind and luckily I don't I'm I'm very proud of all my younger siblings the eldest of five and two of them are quite many 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 years younger than me so I've been able to watch them grow up um and for the most part honestly I I'm just I'm really proud of them but like so that's, that's, that's like a nice thing about growing older right is watching people you care about you know, especially younger ones, right? Grow up and make their decisions and everything, and you hope for the best, right? But you can only sometimes just hold your breath and hope, you know, <laughs> that uh, that they'll that they'll do the right thing. But these kids are great. I think they are like Carlac, um, and I think Carlac like is she gets like a you know, she's like a muscle head, and she kind of is, but she's also very. I think she's actually like a lot. She's street smart in a lot of ways like she's very not innocent but like happy and bubbly but that doesn't mean she's an idiot right <laughs> so that was the same mistake people made kind of with um oh my gosh what is her name in dragon age 2 um meryl i don't know why i was like i was like an m name and i couldn't think of it meryl 
Um, anyway, that's neither here nor there. Uh, an extra stock for an extra special customer. Or no, here, you're the first happy face I've seen in a good while. I'm alive, ain't I? What's not to like? And his little friend is over there. Found any extra stock for extra special me? Hmm. I'm not supposed to mention it to anyone. But I do have something pretty special in stock. A key. What does it look like? What does it open? What treasures await behind its lock? Oh, please. That's for one lucky buyer to find out. Maul gave it to me and said I shouldn't let it go to just any old jack a day. Hmm. If it was worth any coin, do you think Maul would have given it to you? Interesting. Let's see. I don't know about, I don't know what that's about, but we'll give it a go. I mean, maybe. With all the other fabulous things you found, let's see, no, I'm actually better at persuasion. I guess I can just take it. I don't know. That feels a little weird. I didn't want to just take it from her. I was just curious to see where this would go. But she put me in charge of the shop. I, I thought. <sighs> Never mind. Here. You can have it then. Well, now I feel bad. Best bargains, right here. I feel bad. What can I get you? Let's see what you got, kid. Do I have any? I have no wares, but I have. I have to go through my inventory desperately. Oh, you guys, I don't want to do. Ooh, a sending shell. What? Faint whispers creep from the sending shell. You hold it close to the method of sending messages from it. It's unclear. Also, you can! I just remembered this. You can fix the moon lantern. How was it? No, but I'm uh, maybe not fixing it, but I know if you use the moon... You, you, you could theoretically use the moon lantern to get around. What was it? There was like... Oh my gosh. There was something somebody told me or something that I saw briefly that was like... Yeah... You can... Like, that, that's what the moon lantern was for. Which I knew that. I knew it was for something. Oh, here. Have that. Um. What the heck? Why is it... Anyway, I... I don't know what it was. Spoon of saltiness. When salting food, the bear of the shadow cursed utensil will always add too little or too much, but never the right amount. Truly, the, de the deviousness is top tier. Fishing rod of alertness. The wielder of this rod cannot be surprised unless something unexpected happens. <laughs> Jesus. <gasps> what are these? Yes, I should call it here. I need to maybe take it like an hour and organize all my stuff, which I despise doing, but I might have to do it, but... Thank you all so much for joining me. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all of my patrons, including my Acorn patrons. Thank you so much, Fane, for your support. I really very much appreciate it, and I want to give an extra special shout-out to my sapling tier patron, Reese Galito. Thank you so much for your support. I very much appreciate it as well. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout-out to Christopher, my forest tier patron, who has truly gone above and beyond in his support of me and the channel. And I just... I don't know how to say thank you in enough good enough words. I'm empty on words, I guess, but thank you so much. I really do appreciate it a lot. And I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I hope to see you in the next one.